Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Finally, OpenAI has released another new model and its name is GPT 4.1 and they have released three new models basically GPT 4.1 another one is gpt 4.1 mini another one is gpt 4.1 nano and here you see they have mentioned these models are great at coding and instruction following and it has 1 million tokens context window in this video i will tell you how to use this gpt 4.1 for free with winesurf cursor and vs code so stay with me till the end if i show you the benchmark comparison they have also mentioned that on SWE benchmark means uh, the software engineering coding benchmark it has scored more than the other models the first one is this GPT 4.1 it has scored this 55% accuracy but the other models like GPT 4.0 or this OpenAI O1 high and this OpenAI O3 mini high models they have scored like 41% and 49% but GPT 4.1 already beaten all the existing popular models right so we are very much interested to test this model now first I will show you the integration with the VS code now for this VS code open your VS code and go to this extension and install this github copilot okay so this is the extension that we need to use this GPT 4.1 after you install this github copilot uh, extension then you will find this type of interface here so follow my cursor here you will get the icon now here uh, if you select these models here you will see that GPT 4.1 preview so this model is already present here okay now here you can select it and now if I ask it like hi and here you will see that uh, it will ask for the enabling this GPT 4.1 and click on this enable hello how can I assist you with your code or project today okay now uh, how to use this with the windsurf now for that go to this windsurf okay and here you will find this gpt 4.1 free limited time okay so currently uh, it is for the limited time because if you go to their official post this is the official post of windsurf here you see that for the next seven days get free unlimited gpt 4.1 on windsurf okay and the date also they have mentioned like 14 april to 21 april of 2025 you will get this 4.1 for free but uh, if i go to this vs code here you see that um, they have not mentioned any date yet uh, they have just uh, told us that it is currently available for free uh, on this uh, vs code so this is the post the next evaluation of GPT and GitHub Copilot is here. OpenAI GPT 4.1 is now available for all Copilot plans, including free, via the model picker in VS Code. Okay, so there is no currently date limitation in this Copilot. So that's why I will recommend you to use the Copilot with this GPT 4.1 if you want to get it for free. Okay. But for Windsurf, it is 7 days free limitation. Now for Cursor, here you see that they have also posted GPT 4.1 in this uh, one is enabled for all Cursor users. We are launching it for free for the limited time being and to let people get a feel for the model. So they have also released the same thing. You will get this model in the model picker also in that top down. Now let's uh, use it. So I will use this uh, with this VS code because they don't have any limitation. So that's why I'm very much interested to use it with the VS code. What I will do, I have one prompt. Here you see that visualize a modern event planning website with interactive timelines and vendor directories. Design an interface that allows user to manage guest list, RSVPS and sitting arrangement. So it is an event planning website that I will make. So click on this agent okay and click on this enter by the way if you have not watched our previous video uh, for setup this uh, vs code agent mode here you see that this was the video many people have seen already 
so if you have not uh, watched this video till now please don't forget to watch this and also with this vs code agent you will be able to use the deep sea gemini or any other customized model also uh, in this vs code agent here you see that my planning got completed so when the directory sitting arrangement dashboard all of these things it will include and um, now i will ask it now implement it now write the code okay now press enter now it is asking me to create a react app using vit or the official create react app but i am interested in, uh, to use a vit so click on this vit and here you see that using vit it is generating the plan the setup all of these things continue so it, it will work fine for you also and here you see that on the left hand side i got the code uh, this public folder the, then src then uh, assets all of these things like a proper react app now if i click on this continue npm install it will install all of the packages and uh, this vid config also i have got it so this is a proper react app that got initialized using this gpt 4.1 and the thing is that it is a blazing fast model and i tested the same thing with the deep seek r1 and also this gemini 2.5 pro max also but uh, in this case in this gpt 4.1 i am getting a blazing fast experience um, so please try this model on your own in your local machine and let me know your thought your experience in the comment section and here you see that within a second i got these files this timeline sitting management case list all of these things i got so click on this keep click on this done and they have also written on their official blog post that gpt 4.1 is significantly better than the gpt 4.0 at a variety of coding tasks including identically solving coding tasks front-end coding making fewer extra newest edit and following d formats reliably ensuring consistent tool usage and more and on this swe benchmark verified a measure of real world software engineering skill gpt 4.1 completes 54.6 percent of tasks compared to gpt 4.0 and if you want to know what is the difference between these three models gpt 4.1 and 4.1 nano and 4.1 mini here you see that this is the chart uh, this intelligence level of gpt 4.1 is better than this 4.1 mini and 4.1 mini is better than this 4.1 nano and here you see that this is the speed comparison and this is the input output token pricing and also this um, context window length so for all of these three models the context window length is 1 million and that is fixed and if you are solving less complex problem then you can go for this 4.1 nano but if you are solving some medium kind of complex question then you can go for this 4.1 mini but if you are solving uh, some kind of high level of complex complex question uh, that requires a high comparison uh, like encoding the comparison is required so uh, in that case you go for this gpt 4.1 so i hope this video is helpful for you guys if you found helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video see you guys in the next video thanks for watching